in this uh, module the chapter 11 we'll be looking at constant and you may be knowing this constant as far as sketcher and other modules are concerned but as far as the finite element models are concerned the constants are nothing but that associate your geometry that is your model with respect to your environment for example when a crankshaft rotates that is mounted over your bearing and when you only model the crankshaft how do you model that bearing condition or maybe your connecting rod is connected to your crankshaft how do you model the weight of that connecting rod and where it is attached how do you simulate that so that is the part of the constant condition and when a fan is rotating the blades rotational velocity is fixed with respect to the axis and that axis condition you need to also define and here is the course agenda and we'll be looking at the constants and also we'll be looking at the design simulation constants design simulation constant how to apply conflating constants simulation regions and surface to surface contact conditions and surface to surface gluing condition as well so these are the points which we'll be discussing and the types of constant if you see the very first type which you see is the user defined constant and that is uh, the types uh, you can say it applies to your object and constants are basically restricts or your degree of freedom and the first type is the user defined and you need to define based on your cases and next is the enforced displace, uh, displacement condition fixed type and also you have fixed translation constant fixed rotation type simply supported conditions and pin type cylindrical type and slider constant and other types like roller symmetric constant anti-symmetric automatic coupling and manual coupling etc so the constants are applied to your geometry in the model to constant its displacement and rotation primarily that is the degree of freedom and if you look at the degree of freedom is having three primary direction and also three primary rotations with respect to this axis so you have six degree of freedom that means you have a positive six direction and negative six direction like the translation in this direction and this rotation in this direction and rotation in this and so on so total 12 degrees of freedom collectively you have but six master degree of freedoms you have and the model need to be fixed or tied down so that it does not float around the space and the constant should represent the models intended use and practical purpose and if you look at the enforced displacement condition you need to understand the meaning of that so user defined is the first type and next will be the enforced displacement constant And this enforced displacement constant allows you to define a known displacement in a defined direction and we use this to check stresses in a part based on displacement applying load to the geometry is not needed since the displacement creates the movement necessary for solving and one of the very important and frequently used type of constant is known as the fixed constant and this of course everybody knows that And fixed constraint what it does is it fixes all six degree of freedom equal to zero and next is simply supported constraint in simply supported the translation normal to the defined plane is fixed so this basically is known as the simply supported constraint that particular uh, condition which you see may be if this is the body which you would like to attach and this is the ground and when you apply this as a simply supported constant the translation normal to defined plane is fixed only and another is pinned constant it allows free rotation about an axis only and cylindrical constant is very 
straightforward. It allows definition of rotation, displacement along the axis, just like your particular coupling where it can rotate with respect to that axis and also the displacement along the axis is possible. And radial displacement has fixed, free or displacement also you can configure. And slider constant, it allows free displacement in direction only, any particular direction, maybe one direction. And symmetric constant, as the name says, applies to planar phase created by cutting a symmetric body in half. And the constant fixes displacement normal to phase and two rotations in the plane of phases. And the other rotation and two translations are free here. So out of six, this is the case. And anti-symmetric condition also you can apply to complete opposite setting of symmetry. And we need to apply this particular constraint over the particular selected object so that we can exactly understand how it is behaving. So let us look this directly at our 